regular people. Regular people right. get caught up in mind viruses. Like, we always want to look at people in a cult and go, well, that would never be me. I'm too smart for that. These fucking morons. Why do they believe that guy? We're all susceptible. All of us are. It's easier to train a smart dog than a dumb one. And especially the appeal of the cult is you have this hidden arcane knowledge that the normies don't. And right. this is going to feed into your sense of intelligence and yes. self, of self-importance. It's like you're the one of the, the ones in the know and yes. everyone else has blinders on. And you can be really aggressive about enforcing your opinion because you know it's right. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a thing that people are doing that they did during the pandemic and they do about any issue that's controversial, whether it's abortion or whether it's guns or anything. It's like the people, instead of, like, talking about it, like, these are the pros and cons, this is what's going on, this is where I could understand why you would think like this, this is why I think like that, and just try to work it out, it, it always becomes this, like, very vicious attack on your, on your mental capacity, yes. on your thought process, your education, you immediately, they want to classify you in some sort of a category where they could dismiss you, whether it's sexist or racist or transphobic or whatever, they just throw you right. in an out group and start screaming at you and it's the most unproductive way to communicate and it i think it's also a product of social media that we need to be really careful about because it's changing the way people interact with each other well i think it's more a function of evolutionary psychology because if i'm low status and i have no opportunity to you know raise my rank in terms of kind of whatever long-term mating this gives me an excuse now i'm in a position to tell joe rogan mr podcaster celebrity that i'm better than him so right away without having to do any of the work building the audience i'm leapfrogging over you because i understand drug protocols better than joe who went to the veterinarian and just took something off the shelf and just injected into his veins yes yeah definitely it's it's that too there's a there's like many factors, but that's definitely one of the factors why people get aggressive and attack famous people. But it's not just famous sure. people; it's they do it to people that ha- any person who has a, an ideology that's different than them. Like yeah. y- people on the right do it too. Of course they do. Everybody does it. It's a natural part of human. That's why you're seeing these bizarre shifts. Like the left, when I was a kid. Well, no, my parent, my, my stepfather was a hippie, and we grew up in San Francisco in the 70s during the Vietnam War. Oh, okay. So I was, like, surrounded by, like, I had all, my neighbors were gay, everyone was an artist, there was all these fucking weirdos. It's like, ideologies like this, like, what, whatever we're, we're doing, the, the, whether it's right or left... They get it. It's like everybody just gets locked into a group mindset for some strange reason. And if you don't agree with everything in that group mindset, they can just fucking dismiss you. Right. They just completely dismiss you. They're looking for filters to not have to listen to anything you say further. I have pronouns in my bio on Twitter because if you're this type of conservative who thinks, oh, pronouns in bio, I don't have to listen to anything this guy has to say, I don't want to be talking to you anyway if that's how your mind works. So right away, it's going to alienate me from that audience. It also works because if you're someone who is on the other camp and you see pronouns in my Twitter bio, you're going to perceive me as part of your team and you're going to listen to what I have to say. So it works in both directions. But the cue, instead of listening to, does this person have a point is this true is it false it's immediately should i be listening to anything they further right. have to say now can i dismiss them immediately with one word or one phrase i i mean yeah. anyone who likes this can't possibly well it's like stupid people make point, good points all the time so when i was a kid the left was all about freedom of speech and freedom of expression and you know there were if you were like a, a person who never vaccinated your children you would be much more likely to be on the left you were someone who didn't trust pharmaceutical companies right. Or someone hippies, who wanted, yep. hippies were all about like healthy food. Like there was a lot, like a lot of the hippie stuff was stupid, but a lot of the hippie stuff was, it's not that it was stupid. It just, it doesn't work without discipline. It doesn't work without exceptional people who work hard to discipline and then share with each other. 
Like, you can't just everybody share with everybody because there's a natural human inclination to not do anything if you don't have to do anything, especially when you're young. It's fucking, it's not good for the development of a human being to give them everything they want when they're young. That's why it's fucked up when it's like young rich kids. It's like they're classically fucked up. Like well, there's something wrong about that, right? It, you know, I think hippies have gotten a bad rap. And when I was a, much younger, I thought, okay, these guys are idiots. They don't know what they're talking about. And the older I've gotten, the more I'm like, you know what? Like, they're probably onto something. They were onto something. Like in the late 60s, yeah. where they're like, why are, we ki- why are we sending kids to die yeah. overseas? Like, why, why are, are we, drugs illegal? Well, yeah, why? Like, what yeah. are we? Like, okay, let's have some pleasure. Let's expand our minds. Like, yeah. It sounds stupid now because it's become an eat, pray, love thing. But looking back, I'm like, they weren't so bad. And who were they really? Like, a lot of them were destroying their own lives. Let's get let's be honest like For a certain sure. point hedonism is a problem but in terms of like their motivations I'm like I kind of have a soft spot for that but if you meet some of these older hippies like even like the, especially the Bernie Sanders types a lot of them are just really nice people yeah and they're they just, just really nice good people. neighborhoods yeah and they